Billy, it would seem like the world of science, the world of religion have nothing in common. Why do you seek a relationship? Well, it's really funny that in our civilization, the juxtaposition of the words religion and science is kind of a Rorschach test <laughs> for all kinds of cultural prejudices and beliefs. And this idea that they're, they're antonyms, that they're somehow necessarily in opposition, is also kind of bizarre, particularly if we take a long historical view. But you say the methodologies are very different. Uh, in, in some cases, yes. In some cases, no. There are lots of different sciences, each with their own different type of methodology, lots of different types of religions, even within a religious tradition, Christianity, Judaism, an enormous amount of variety in what people think and how they practice. And So these are very heterogeneous. Um, uh, they're hardly, uh, you know, uh, 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 homogenous things that we're trying to, com we use a word science, we use a word religion, but what does it really mean? What does it really mean? Why do, why are so many people talking about this, this nexus? Well, there, there are lots of ways to approach that question. For me, it comes down to um, the, the, the situation that humanity finds itself in today. Uh, uh, we've gone through a century of enormous uh, advance in scientific knowledge, enormous technological uh, progress, and it's not clear that uh, we're any more wiser or more compassionate or more moral at the end of the day. So we have some enormous challenges as we um, become now humans, become the engine for the future evolution of the planet. But if we look over this historical period of time, isn't it true that as science knowledge has increased in all of the sciences from cosmology to biology, that the religious explanation of things, if you will, is being pushed more and more to the periphery and indeed isolated in, in a few unpainted corners? Sure, you, you could say that. It depends on what, uh, what, how you understand religious explanations. I don't understand them to be about science at all. I, see, I, I think of them to be about uh, the meaning and purpose of life, the relationship between uh, humans and other humans in society, as well as with the divine. So I, I, I don't see that uh, these are not scientific textbooks that were written thousands of years ago. There's elements of natural explanation, but that's not what the core is. So ancient scriptures are, are, are not true, they're profound. And that's the difference that we don't seem to understand anymore in our civilization. So you, you would have something be profound even if it's not true? Yes, yeah, sure, why not? Absolutely. I mean, it depends what you mean by true. Something could be more true um, and not be scientifically true. But then, in your view of religion, it really doesn't have much to say about the nature of reality, but sort of the nature of our uh, moral perceptions of our own relationships? No, I, I think it's more than that. That's certainly part of it. But uh, uh, if you think of the human religious aspirations through many different cultures, many millennia, uh, think of that as a kind of uh, empirical research with the nature of the divine and ultimate reality. Now, there's a lot of junk that's mixed in there, but to willy-nilly throw the whole thing out would be cultural suicide. This represents the accumulation of a lot of let's call it experimentation, um, wisdom, um, that, that's, that humans have been seeking uh, in different ways. Although if one looks at the history of religion, even in the last uh, one or two centuries, it wouldn't uh, give me a lot of confidence that progress has been made towards, uh, towards wisdom and harmony. Well, uh, uh, no, not at all. <laughs> I, I share your skepticism <laughs> and your concern. Um, uh, but it, it's, it's a kind of curious thing in the name of getting rid of religion, we create new religions, and uh, for for the uh, most of the 20th century, scientism was a very dominant religion in Europe and the United States. Now, some scientist people don't like to use that word, but I think it has to be used. And uh, we also have to recognize that people can do awful, terrible things, be arrogant or, or dogmatic or or violent without religion. And certainly, the Nazi movement and the Stal Stalinism are examples of that of uh, overtly anti-religious ideologies that did terrible, terrible things in the world. So, so nobody has a monopoly on doing horrible things. That's right, that's right. Yeah, but if we, again, look at religion, does religion, is a religion contributing anything to our sense of reality? Not our sense of uh, moral goodness, or, but our sense of reality. What is real, all there is. Well, again, if, if you take a informed and historical approach to religion, you realize that that our sense of reality has changed many times 
um, in Christendom and Judaism and Islam and other religions. And, and when, as those uh, sense of reality changes, so do our philosophies uh, or our theologies. One example, of course, is the Middle Ages, you know, when uh, Muslims and then uh, Jews and Christians rediscovered the Aristotelian sciences. That was the best sciences of their time, but it pre presented profound challenges to their theology, and they had to modify those theologies. Something similar happened in the Enlightenment with the rise of Newtonian mechanics, when, when all of a sudden we jettisoned organismic views of the universe and adopted mechanistic views. And that also infected religious, ide um, theo philosophical and theological thought. The effect, though, is to push religion more and more outside the explanatory circle of, uh, of what reality is about. So each one of those particular uh, uh, areas of progress has made religion less and less relevant. Well, I, I, I'm going to disagree with you again. Um, the, it, it becomes relevant when it deals with the new data. Uh, it, when it absorbs the new science, the new information, and, and uh, inhabits that and reinterprets their own tradition and their scripture in light of that. So I, I would certainly agree that any, any religion, for instance, young earth creationism, uh, as an example, that denies you know, commonly accepted um, uh, insights from contemporary science is, uh, is anachronistic, um, um, uh, regressive, um, not helpful. But I have complete confidence that that um, uh, contemporary scientific insights can be interpreted uh, with, and and within these religious traditions, it will be seen differently. It will be, it will change. But I'm, I, I see no problem with that at all.